Welcome to how to use the end event shape. This shape indicates the end of a process or sub process. While there are many variations of the end event, today we're going to be looking at the one labeled as none. We use the end event labeled as none when the end type is unknown or it doesn't matter. While the end event color could be white and doesn't always have to be red, what you will notice is that the end event has a thicker border around its circle, which is different from the start event, which is thin, or the intermediate event, which is hollow. We're going to be looking at three examples of where we can use the end event. The end event can be used after almost any step in your process map. It could be a gateway, a task, a sub-process. While the end event can appear after almost any shape, as mentioned earlier, it will indicate the end of either your sub-process or process. Let's take a look at our example. We can see that in all three of our examples, do x task is what leads to our end event. As this isn't relevant for today, what we're going to focus on are just those end event shapes. Starting at the top, we can see our end event does not have a label. This could mean that the end event is unknown, or it doesn't need to be labeled for our given audience. Looking at our end event, second from the top, we can see that this is labeled request complete. We've made the assumption here that when the end event is reached, the request has been completed. Depending on what your end event trigger is, you may also use other variations of the end event shape, which we'll look at in a future session. The last example of our end event is the one simply labeled end event. This is just a simplistic label to say that this is our end event. In a nutshell, that's how you use this shape. There are three different ways that you could use it, and there isn't necessarily one correct way. What you will notice, however, is we did not label our end event an action word in any of these scenarios. And we're done. That concludes this session. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much.